Mama told me, boy, you gon' be a star, yeah I was born just to be the boss, yeah Push the star, don't need key to car uh, I be kicking up, check my sneaker star What's good guys? Sorry I fell off a little bit. I believe the last video I dropped was like three weeks ago, but trying to get back on track, get, give y'all dope content, dope stuff to watch consistently, and we are gonna keep on rolling with that. Uh, before we get straight into it, let me introduce myself right quick to all the newcomers. My name is B, I go by B Sneaks. I review sneakers as well as clothes, fashion, lookbooks, all that good stuff. If you like any of that content, then please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. I don't want to waste any more time. You already saw from the B-roll footage. We are reviewing the Union Los Angeles Jordan 4 Union. And I got to say, this was a super dope shoe. It dropped on August 29th of 2020. I did not get this off retail, sadly, but I'm not tripping either way. I was able to get my hands on it from a good friend of mine for a great price. These, this shoe, people were, the hype for it was just all over the place. Personally, myself, I did not like this shoe when it first, when I first was seeing pictures of it before the release date. I kind of actually hated it, but uh, when I was able to finally see it in hand and stuff, it really changed my mind when I saw the pink guava pair in hand a uh, month before I even bought this pair, uh, it changed my mind. And I really just like what Union did as a whole with not just the sneaker, but the presentation with the box, which I'll show y'all if you already seen the previous shots, the presentation with the box and just a lot of different things they did with this shoe just made it a super dope shoe. But uh, I'm gonna hit y'all with a course of review on foot and a few fits that I'm gonna get off with this, some lace swaps, good stuff like that. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. All right, so before we get into the shoes, I just want to show you all the box. It is a pop-up box. As you can see, the hand is going to have Jordan like he's shooting the ball with the Union going across. Dope, dope touch. Inside the box, it does also have this paper, which it's an infamous picture of Jordan whenever he was sitting there after winning the championship. Super sick touch. And then lastly, it did come with a little blue... Uh, Jordan hang tag on it as well super sick touch but let's not waste any more time let's get straight into the shoe this was a super fire shoe once I saw it in hand I hated it at first though. I can't even lie and act like I liked it I did not like this shoe at first but it definitely did grow on me a lot just a whole lot once I saw it in person so getting straight into it it's just gonna have that black suede going across it was a really nice black suede midsole is just an all cream midsole we will have the jordan um the freaking what do they call you know they call this like the wing i guess you could say it's gonna have that all plastic going across i have seen videos of people cutting the plastic out and just making it look like the regular way it looks on all fours very interesting to see if people actually do that if more people do that i was thinking about it but i don't know if i want to we're gonna have the white web right there it is gonna have a hit right there for union la it's gonna have that blue on that heel panel it's like a mesh kind of material pretty rough mesh red hits right there i do have yellow laces in the shoe besides the yellow laces it did just come with a pair of black laces but i wanted to lace swap them i do also have a lace swap that i'll be showing y'all in the video 
this has to be the most infamous part of the shoe is the tongue because if you already knew from uh older collectors and stuff when people were first collecting fours when they first dropped people used to peel the tongue and flip it over to show air jordan and so they just basically took it stitched it on there and just put the air jordan so you don't even have to flip the tongue yourself i have seen people removing that stitching because the stitching is going across the back you can remove that and it is going to show a jordan sign with union right there if you can look closely it does say union right there myself personally when i before seeing them in hand i did say that i wanted to remove the tongue and flip it but now that i have them in hand i don't want to do that i like how it looks just like that without me having to flip it and i noticed when people flip the tongue it looks kind of uh like creased and funny just because it's been held up like that for so long uh i don't think you need to inner sole is just going to be black with a red jump man and union in there i got a size 13 in these uh for fit wise these do fit true to size they fit just like your, all your other fours i don't have any fours in a 13 but i was able to rock out with a 13 because the 13 was going for cheaper than what a 12 is going for right now and so i did rock out with that it's gonna have that black uh heel with the red nike air on it super sick touch white stitching going around the shoe i love that about this shoe the bottom is just gonna be that all cream bottom with that black hit, that royal blue hit right there with the red Nike on it. This was such a super dope shoe. Uh, resale is pretty expensive for it right now, like $700 to $800 range. I didn't pay that for these though, luckily. Had a boy hold me down. I will be giving y'all an on foot as well as a styling for how I'm gonna rock these out. So stay tuned for that. We are gonna get straight into that. <laughs>
me know in the comments what you thought about this shoe, how you thought about the video. Do you plan to cop these on the resale market? Do you think these are worth what resale is going for right now? Do y'all feel the fits? Not feel the fits? Feel the lace swaps? Whatever. I like when y'all always comment just because it's just a fun way to network with y'all guys. Um, I am going to try to give y'all more videos going forward as usual. Uh, upcoming releases, of course, the Hyper Real ones did kind of not really drop in stores. They really just dropped only online. I do see those dropping in stores sometime in the near future, just shipments with shoes and stuff. It's been hella crazy this year, so it's been causing a lot of just later pushback releases. We do have the Jordan 11 uh, Low Legend dropping pretty soon. Are y'all gonna be going for that? Are y'all gonna be going for the University Blue Jordan 4s? I will personally be going for those. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments what y'all think down below. Like I said, anybody that's been watching me for the first time today, if you like this video or anybody that's been watching it with me for the, any time being before this, hit that like down below. I always love when y'all like the video. It just helps spread the video, spread the love. The channel's been growing a lot. I appreciate y'all for always watching my vids and just branching out, showing different things. Um, I do always appreciate that. And then to any newcomers, hit that subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so you're tapped in with me going forward. I am gonna still be giving y'all a lot of dope stuff. I have also been active on my, trying to be more active on my social medias like Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. So I will also link my social medias down in the description down below, tap on me on those. I am always showing on my TikTok like new, uh, new cops that I'm getting in, new hats, new shoes, clothes. I'm trying to throw more of that on my TikTok and other social media outlets. So definitely tap in with me on social media down below. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video as always. I appreciate y'all tapping in with me. Y'all be safe out here. Hope y'all have good luck and cop on whatever you're trying to cop. And be sneaks. I'm out of here.